Hey everybody, I just got back from Kentucky, caught a bunch of skipjack. I tried catfishing, didn't pan out. Uh, if you watched the video there, uh, hopefully it got posted. Uh, you don't have to watch it all, but there's parts in there where I've caught skipjack and it should be on camera, but you need to go to the end of that video. See what I caught. I'm going to leave it a surprise. I'm not going to say what it is, but it was pretty good size. Y'all go check it out. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, vacuum seal up some skipjack and show y'all what it looks like here. I might get this thing here to set up right where it don't move. Let me show you some of the skipjack I caught. See, like, here's one. That's a pretty good fish. You know? That's pretty good catfish bait right there. They get a lot of good baits out of that dude. Man, he's, look how thick that dude is in the back. Man, is he not thick? Boy, he's thick. <coughs> here's another one. Not as big as that other one. Well, but he's still thick in that back, cross that back. He's been eating good. So I got several of them. You know? Get a... Got some good ones in here. We got some, some of just a little smaller. Can't hardly get them out of the thing. Anyway, I got them in here. It's a good skipjack. <coughs> but anyway, if we're going to uh, do some little vacuum sealing here. And uh, I got this little old cheap seal mill vacuum sealer. Uh, when I start catching real good in uh, about the middle of March all the way through April, some big giants and a bunch of them, I'm going to buy the great old big $500 one and I'm going to get that one done up. And, and uh, that's a commercial one and I want that one because that, that's awesome machinery. But uh, stay with us and we'll get you set up. And you can uh, see how I vacuum seal my fish with this little El Cheapo. Okay, guys, uh, gals. Uh, before we uh, get to the vacuuming part, I want to show you this one fish right here. Look at this one. Look at that hog right there. Look at that. Now, is that not a skipjack? Compared to the one I showed you earlier, well, I thought that was a pig. Now, look at that. You can tell the size difference. That is a hog right there. And they get bigger, way bigger. And you talk about a fight. You can go find a fight no better than what these give you. I'm going to get the camera adjusted down. And uh, it scales all over me. And then we're going to uh, get to vacuum sealing and discuss what I got going. Okay. Now this here is a seal mill. I do not recommend this here for vacuuming and sealing a lot of fish. Uh, my good one that I had, it finally burned out because I do so many, uh, seal so many fish. But on this one right here, like with all the rest of them, I tried to put a double seal on it. We're going to take this big old hog right here. We'll gently slide it in the bag. We'll turn this baby around. 
it's got a slot right here. You put the bag down in the slot and you close it. All right, I take the fish and I gently cut, make it go back up, get it off the bottom because I don't want it to pull against the deal. And we'll see if she'll vacuum it out. Now I like the lock one better. I don't like the hands-free stuff. But it's sealed it right up. It says it's done. Now I gotta let that cool off because with this one right here, this gets so hot it'll melt the bags. Just melt them. Look at that. Sealed it right up. Shouldn't have to seal it but one time on that end. See what I mean about double sealing the end where the nose is at and keeping it away from the edge? Because uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it pulls on it. And if it gets up against there, it's going to pull that apart. But look at that. And that right there is going to catch a trophic sized catfish one day. fish is that I lay them out. I take a paper towel and I wipe down both sides of the fish starting from the head to the tail to try to remove most of the slime that I can move off of it. I don't want to remove it all because when it thaws out I want that slime to be in that water that way the, the smell and the oils and stuff will go back in the water too. Try to vacuum seal the bag where it's not supposed to be vacuum sealed. That's why I said these cheap things ain't worth the crap. If y'all gonna buy one, buy a good one. Don't buy this old cheapy stuff. Alright, let's try this again. Buy a good one, get it over with. It's, it's well worth the money to buy a good one. A good machine. Okay, I got my double seal. I've done wipe my fish down both sides. I'm gonna gently put it in here. I'm gonna pull it back. Well, I can't pull it back like that. Right by the middle and I'll pull it back a little bit. Take that right there and I'll just shove it right down in that hole. Close the deal. Drop it down. Got a good seal on it, even for a cheap old, but you can't do it for very long at a time. <coughs> See, I wound up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fish. That's not bad. They hit real good. They go real good. All right. I'll show you one more thing here. Okay. Vacuum sealing was pretty easy pretty self-explanatory uh, there's different types of machines out there I recommend if you're gonna get one get a good machine because uh, you're gonna spend money on two or three machines if you do a lot of this for your fish bait and stuff like that uh, don't when you seal it I always double seal one end of my bags and I put the fish in and I keep it about that far from the end because like I said if it gets to the end it's gonna pull the bag apart from the pressure pulling in there and once you put that fish in, you got to reach in, grab that fish, and pick it up and gently move it back. Because if you just slide that fish back, more than likely, these things here will not fin you. They have no, they don't have no 
fence that, that will fend you, even on her back. It's real soft. Down here it's soft. Here, here, all this soft, it will not fend you. What will fend you and what will poke a hole in the bags is right down his belly. Let's see, I'll get over here in front of the camera here. Right down his belly. You can take and slide it down, but when you try to come back up, see that? He's got barbs that run right down his belly. They go from here all the way up to the fins right there. The big ones are here between the two fins. And then uh, they get small ones up here. Now those, when you try to pull it back, it will uh, put a hole in your bag. So you don't want that. So you want to slide them in head first. And if they're too far back, you can take and gently just pull them, lift them up, bring them back. Because if you try to just shove them back like that there, more likely that's going to grab the side of the bag or turn and get the bottom of the bag and then you've got a hole in it. Because these things here are sharp. But I have never been fed by one of these things at all. I've had more hooks in my hands than I have fins with these. But like I said, when you want to prep them, get them out. I lay mine on a towel. Uh, I just take a, a, a dry paper towels and I just go over it and one paper towel will do quite a bit and then you change them out you know when it gets a little slimy wet and just go over it over it over it and turn them over do that side a couple times and then vacuum seal them you don't want them dry okay uh, you just don't want the outside skin dry on it because it ruins it you want to make sure you leave some of that slime on there so that way when you throw it in the water it let releases it into the water like it there and the fish just love it stuff but and always remember when it gets warmer outside keep them on ice uh, today it was pretty cool i didn't have to uh, they're still as a matter of fact they're still cold and i didn't put no ice on because i didn't have to but anyway i hope this helps you out i'm getting scales all over my hands look at that i <laughs> uh, hope this helps you out some way taking a go catch some fish you want to vacuum seal them make sure you get a good machine if you're not doing a lot of vacuum sealings the cheap walmart brands will do you all right uh, some of them are you have to hold down until the light comes on tells your hands free some of them you lock it down i prefer the lockdown type but i'm gonna package these up and i'm gonna get them in the deep freeze and probably after the new year i'm gonna have them out there in the river and some of them and see if we can't catch some catfish so happy new year everybody i hope you have a great new year don't drink and drive uh drink responsibly and uh look out for others and just you know take care of each other y'all have a good one tails up